everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and as you can see guys today I'm ready to start this spooky season on this channel I know it might be still a little bit early for Halloween specials but I did it the same way last year started a little bit earlier and I was really happy with the way it went because I had plenty of time to work on my dolls I could create more Halloween special dolls and I really love making Halloween special dolls so and if suddenly we still don't have enough time we can always extend the spooky season a little bit more into the November. So let's start at least six weeks of Halloween specials and I'm going to start it with making Lydia from the Beetlejuice movie. Really I love this movie. I love the Beetlejuice, I love Lydia, she was such a goth icon of all girls of my generation because I really loved this movie when I was a kid, maybe like early years, early teen years, early youth and I think that she is really a goth icon of all girls of my generation, of people who are maybe a couple of years younger or older, so I really want to make Lydia as a Monster High doll, I have already some good ideas. Of course, my mom is going to help me with her beautiful outfit, I've already seen it, I've already received it, it's absolutely stunning. So I think it will be a beautiful project because I'm sure I have lots of Beetlejuice and Lydia fans watching this video right now. So please don't forget to click the like button or I don't know, write something in the comments if you also wear or still are Lydia fan. So in this being said, let's start working guys. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, about my new Halloween specials, and of course, please support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And now let's start the transformation. Okay, look, I will use this Frankie doll for this makeover because I think that she will give me the required amount of kind of cuteness and darkness at the same time. So now I will prepare her as usually because of course I have to remove absolutely everything of this doll to get a clean canvas. So let's start from removing her clothes like usually, then I will cut off her hair, then I will disconnect the head from the body and remove the rest of the hair from the inside of the head and after this I will remove her face with pure acetone. When 
everything is gone, I'm sealing her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this I'm ready to start the face up. So first of all I will change her skin tone of course from green to very light nude. I've explained already this process kind of in more detail in one of my Instagram reels. So if you need kind of more clarity, more information regarding this process, please go check it out there. So and for the rest of her face today I'm going for quite dark and dramatic eye makeup up with some red accents. I will add some red to the blending of her eyeshadows. I think it will look very good. And the lips will be kind of at the same time red, but also very natural looking.
guys, the face looks great, so now let's quickly customize her body in exactly the same way. Let's turn it from green to light nude, and then we'll move on to her hair. Great, the face and the body look really good together, so now I want to make this Lydia's iconic hairstyle with this kind of beehive on top of her head and these pointy bangs. I don't know how to describe it better, but you can see it on the picture right now. So I will start with turning this black acrylic yarn into very fine and very soft hair-like fibers. And then I will glue these fibers to the doll's head. completely dry so I can begin styling her hair and I think that this beehive on her head is actually kind of heavily teased ponytail so let's try to make something similar
Yes, guys, check it out. I really like it. I think it already looks very promising, but we're not done yet, of course. Now let's cut and style her bangs. And I also want to cut a little bit the rest of her hair to make it look a little bit kind of like a mullet, to make it less heavy on the ends. Perfect. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, guys? I think her hair is absolutely perfect. I'm very happy about it. So now let's attach the lashes, apply the gloss to her eyes and lips, and then we'll see how my mom is doing there working on her outfit. So I've asked my mom to recreate the red wedding dress, I think it's absolutely iconic, but anyway, actually Lydia's casual outfit is also very iconic and it also deserves recreation, so remember with that hat, kind of such a gothic outfit, so I don't know, maybe I will make it next year, like tell me if you're interested in it, if you want to see the second version of Lydia, but this year we're going for the stunning Lydia in her red wedding dress, and now you can see my mom making it out of this super cute red mesh with dots, really, an adorable fabric. Here is the dress, it just arrived at my studio, check it out, even the packaging looks so cute, really, it's already adorable, now let's see what's inside. And it's 
so beautiful, guys. Really, <laughs> check it out. This dress is just an absolute perfection. Really, all these details. Really, all these layers of red mesh. Uh, this top looks also so detailed. Really, so beautiful. And here we also have a veil. And my mom has even put this clip to attach the veil to her hair. So let's put it all on the doll. You know, I think this clip is a little bit too big for her head, so I will use a couple of regular pins to attach this veil to her head, and this big clip we will use for something else in the future. And I think, guys, it all looks just stunning, really. Another masterpiece created by my mom. Please don't forget to subscribe to her Instagram as well, as well as to my Instagram, so she posts new and different outfits there every week, not just the dresses from my videos, but lots of other outfits. So now I still need to make a pair of shoes to match the dress, and I think I will make some cute black ballerina shoes out of Warbler Thermoplastic. So the base of the shoes is finished, now let's paint and let's also decorate them. So here are the finished shoes, I think they look very cute, I think they will go great together with the dress. And now guys, yes, it means that we are done and we are ready to take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my first Halloween special this year, I'm so excited to dive into the spooky season once again, it's really my favorite season of doll making. I don't really celebrate Halloween in real life, but really making Halloween special dolls is the favorite part of my job, really, I'm not kidding. So here is my finished Lydia, and I think she looks absolutely stunning, really, I love her so much, really, a real goth princess in her red 
that wedding dress so 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 stunning really amazing like always my mom's dress is absolutely beautiful it wouldn't be the same without her amazing art please again don't forget to subscribe to her instagram and to my instagram as well so i'm back from the cruise and uh, for the next two months there will be a lot of doll content on my channel and on my instagram so please subscribe everywhere and then yes then i will go on a new cruise again but i will tell you later a little bit more about it so i'm really happy about uh, her hair about how her hair turned out i was a little bit worried about it but yes it looks really great in the end i'm very happy about her hair and her face you know i think it's just super beautiful it's very dark and also very innocent at the same time really i love this doll she's my favorite at the moment probably so guys, now it's your turn to share your opinion about my Lydia, please let's talk about her in the comments, it will be fun, I'm back home, so I'm open for the conversation. And the doll is right now available for sale on eBay, the link is in the description box under this video, so please go there, check it out, maybe you want to have this mini Lydia in your life, she is now on eBay. So guys, and that was the doll transformation of the week, that was my first Halloween special, I really hope you've enjoyed it today, and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, it's very important, subscribe to my channel, and of course hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, I don't know exactly when the next Halloween special will come out, it's already like for 55% finished, so I'm not sure if I will be done with it by next week, Friday, so it might be in two weeks, but anyway, next week or in two weeks, I will see you here again with a new Halloween special doll makeover. Love you guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye.